Hey, good morning, everybody. On this Thursday, what I like to call Little Friday. Welcome in to the Sam Channel. I'm Chris Allen here on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and X, all sponsored by Ace Hardware Marketplace. It is May the 2nd, and uh, we're going to have a warm day. It's going to be quite a warm day, not a record. Uh, let's see here. I wrote it down. Uh, so we're predicting, or I'm predicting 88. I'm going with 88. I was going to go closer to 90, but just based on everything I'm seeing right now, it looks like it's going to be upper eighties just based on the amount of humidity in the air, high pressure in control, that dome that sets over us, the lid on the atmosphere preventing any upward motion so we don't have any thunderstorms building, uh, just the winds, taking all that into consideration, I'm going to go 88 today. The record high for today was set back in 1901 at 93 degrees. So if somebody hits 90 today, and it could could even be Bowling Green, it, it might. Uh, if that happens, we would just be three degrees shy of the record high for this day, but I'm going to go with 88. Uh, that's where I'm going to keep it. Let's see what happens. All right. Uh, let's check on the, uh, uh, the outside and the Plano cam, uh, from my humble abode. And there you see a beautiful sky and those high, thin, wispy clouds. We call those cirrus clouds. Uh, upper winds make them fan out and look like some people say they look like angel wings. And I see that that's pretty nice. So this is what we're going to see today. Lots of sunshine, but it is warm and it is humid and it's going to continue to be that way. The look from downtown and our AAA systems live cam showing the same picture, pretty much blue sky. And those high, thin cirrus clouds, fair weather clouds, beautiful. Uh, and it, it will be, it, it will be like summertime here in Southern Kentucky. Uh, it is going to be a, a very nice day, but, uh, dew points will be getting into the sixties. Normally that would mean rain for us, but if it weren't for that dome of high pressure, that's what's suppressing the air, keeping it from rising. You've got to have that rising air, rising warm air, moist air to build thunderstorms, but that's not going to be the case today. Now, it will be tonight. Later tonight, we're going to have a, a series of disturbances, not just tonight, but the next few days through the weekend and even into the beginning of next week, there's going to be this never-ending run of disturbances that are going to come in and each one will bring us a chance of showers and some thunderstorms. And yes, even for Derby, maybe, I mean, the Derby is, uh, the late latest I've seen looking a little more optimistic, like some of the showers may be that morning, but maybe not in the afternoon. I hope that holds true for Everybody going to the 150th run of the roses, run for the roses, I should say, uh, at Churchill Downs. All right, here's a look at the uh, winds this morning. Fairly light from the southeast at 5 to 10. Radar, nothing around here. Look at that. Quiet. I mean, the whole picture is quiet. Is there anything out there? Well, let's... Zoom out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here's where the trouble spots are this morning. Kansas City, some thunderstorms, and there's some really heavy rain and even a tornado warning or two that's been going on around Beaumont, Texas, just north of Houston, uh, College Station, Killeen, those areas. Heavy rain now moving into Shreveport, Louisiana. Texarkana getting some of that. Uh, so this is... This is the real big trouble spot this morning as far as nasty weather. And you can see those lightning strikes happening there. Uh, our disturbance is going to be part of this system that is going to kick eastward and bring us the rain late tonight 
and during the day tomorrow. Let's check out the satellite view. And there you see, just like we were showing you uh, on the cameras, there are those high, thin, wispy cirrus clouds in high definition. And then we have clouds wrapped around a uh, low pressure system and this area of disturbed weather back to the west. So we're going to see some of these clouds thicken up a little bit more. These are mid-level clouds that will start to move in later today. And then tonight, it'll be cloudy with these showers and thunderstorms starting to move into the area for the day tomorrow. So it is going to rain. Uh, there you go. That's a closer view. It is going to rain. Uh, and it could get a little stormy, but I'm not uh, forecasting anything too serious. So anyway, there you are. Uh, as far as that's concerned, let's check on the current conditions from the Kentucky Mesonet sites and the sensors that are around the area this morning. And we're starting out nice and mild temperatures in the upper sixties, even 70 already in Scottsville here at eight o'clock. It's exactly eight o'clock as I'm doing this live. If you're watching me later, there's your time reference, 70 already, upper 60s elsewhere. So let's check on the humidity, how it feels and all that. Dew points are well into the 60s. So you've got a 70-degree temperature, and you've got, well, down in Scottsville, you've got that, and 61, the dew point. So we're at 72, almost 73% relative humidity. That's how you, it, there's a calculation. There's a math equation there uh, where you take the air temperature and the dew point temperature, you factor the difference and you get how much of a percentage the atmosphere is humid. And that's your relative humidity. So it's at 72%. When the air temperature and these dew point temperatures get closer together, that's when you're more into the 90 to 100% relative humidity. And that's when it's really extra muggy. You don't want that. So there's your humidity, 70s and 80s. Oh, 96% humidity. Well, look at that. That's that's why. 90, here's a good example. 96% relative humidity in Butler County near Woodbury, just outside of Morgantown, temperature, air temperature, 64.8. Dew point is 63.7. So that equation gives you 96.1% relative humidity. That's how that's calculated. But really, dew point is the more important number than humidity. We say it's humid. We say it's muggy. But really, the dew point is what we pay attention to. Are there any winds up there or down here stirring up anything? Not really. East, southeasterly, light, uh, uh, any kind of a breeze at all. Yeah, we're going to have a breeze later, uh, I think more so this evening. Um, no, there's not, there's not much air stirring around, but there will be. So it's going to be very warm, very muggy. Not a lot of wind out there to stir things up today, but incoming will be the showers and thunderstorms. I'm thinking, you know, closer to 10, 11 o'clock this evening, uh, those showers and thunderstorms will start to move in. All right, let's take a look at the model blender. It's blender time here on the channel. So they're going with 87. Once they put in all the models, Put it in the blender. This is what it spits out, 87. And as I mentioned, I'm going with 88. 89 is possible, and even 90 is possible today. But even if we hit 90, it's not going to be a record. Close, but not a record. Then, with all the rain coming in late tonight and during the day tomorrow, we go 77. That's what they're going with. I'm going with 78. After going 66, 67 tonight, then we go 80 on Saturday. That is Derby day. I'm going with 82 with more scattered showers and thunderstorms. And every day here, there's a chance of showers and thunderstorms. So keep that in mind. 
but we'll be back into the low to even mid 80s going through next week. Next weekend, there's another system poised to come in on next Thursday into Friday, which is going to cool us down into the mid 70s. But until that time, and every single day I'm looking at here, it is going to be warm and it's going to be muggy. Uh, Dew points will stay in the 60s all the way through this 10-day stretch. There will be no relief from the muggy air. It is going to come in, it's here now, and it's going to stay all the way through that period you see there on the chart. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking for this nice, refreshing, little cool down and the dew points come down into the 50s and, you know, starts to feel real nice, it's not going to. It's not going to. It's going to be a, a bit. We hit 85 yesterday, by the way, at the airport. The average or the normal high is 75. So we were 10 degrees above normal. We're going to go 15 or more, uh, above the normal for today. If we, especially if we hit those upper eighties, close to 90, um, and then we're going to have a little bit of a reset. It'll feel better, but it's not going to feel great. If you're looking for ah refreshing rain and okay, that it'll feel good for a little bit, but it's going to be that humid kind of sticky kind of rain because the dew points are going to stay in the sixties. So just, just letting you know. Love the rain, but I don't like all that the almost steam bath effect that it creates sometimes in these kind of scenarios. All right, here we go with the maps to get you going this morning. Here comes our system out of the plains, trouble spots, red zones, and boxes back to the west. Frontal boundary is going to retreat northward today. High pressure in that dome suppressing any kind of shower and thunderstorm activity. This is where the heat builds and the humidity builds today. So, but here comes our system. Here we go into the afternoon and evening. We start to see scattered showers to the West. And like I said, about 10 o'clock or so this evening, we'll start to see showers move into the Bowling Green area. Uh, and then that front will slowly notice it. It tries to get hung up here because there's one, two, three areas of low pressure, really four that are kind of steering this thing. So high pressure gets out of the way, allows this front to come on in tonight. We could have some heavy downpours. I'm not expecting severe weather, but like the last one that came through, what was it? Tuesday night, you know, there were a couple of flashes of lightning and claps of thunder, and then it just poured, you know, that's where we picked up an inch and a half to two inches of rain. Yeah, there could be some heavier downpours tonight, but not quite that heavy. Uh, but as this thing slows down, it often gives rise to heavier rain once the system starts to slow down. So we'll have to watch that. But severe weather? Nah, I don't think so. Not with this. There's not enough of a lapse between upper level energy and surface energy. There's not, um, there's not going to be a lot of that. So with that, I think it's just going to be some heavier downpours. Here's, uh, Friday afternoon and evening. The front tries to work its way through being kicked by this new piece of energy coming out of the Rockies. So everything's going to move East, but it's going to stay unsettled. Here is Saturday morning. Saturday morning, cold front and showers around Churchill Downs and some showers down here in the Bowling Green area. Let me zoom in so you can see that. There we go. So yeah, uh, about 7 a.m. Saturday morning, the front will be crossing through the Metro Louisville area. And, uh, as they're preparing for the Derby, uh, the heaviest rains should be East. But as we go into Sunday morning, notice there's not a lot of change here between the Saturday front and the Sunday front. And so that's going to keep it unsettled. So I would prepare for 
the possibility of showers at Derby. But they're saying 20, 30%. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, you may get by without a shower during a race time. Race t- uh, post time for the race is 557 Central, 657 Eastern. They're on Eastern time up there in Louisville, Louisville, Kentucky. And look, look right here. Look. Is that not a horse right there? See the dark green? Here I am looking at shapes again on the map. That's kind of a horse, isn't it? I mean, its nose is all messed up. But uh, to me, that kind of... (laughs) (laughs) See its ear? Eye? Horse. It's a horse. Of course. Of course, of course, it's a horse. I am Mr. Ed. Some of you don't know what I'm referring to, but that's okay. Here's Monday, showers and thunderstorms, another good wave of it coming through, stalled front to the uh, north. Here we go again, Tuesday. See, every day, every day, it's rain. It's not going to be continual, but it's going to be there. Uh, It's Pumbaa, Pumbaa from Lion King. Okay, Allison, thank you. <laughs> it did kind of look like, yeah, Pumbaa. You're right. Uh, but anyway, so there's your uh, there's your maps and all the shapes and the colors that I see sometimes and people are going, that boy's crazy. He's got a screw loose up here somewhere. Yeah, that's true. I mean, to be in this business, you got to have a screw loose or two. All right, in the chat box this morning, Mandem98, Patty, Gail, uh, Tony, let's see, Shannon, Karen, Donna, Eva, Kathy, um, Chris, D, Judy, Gretch, Kigs and Family, Katie, Doc, Allison, Karen, Ricky. All right. All of you, thank you so much. Enjoy the day, the heat and the humidity. If you love summer, you're going to love today because it's going to feel and look just like it. God bless you.